Hello everyone, doing something different today, um, Halo Infinite has released gameplay footage, so we're gonna watch it together, I'm a huge fan of Halo, have been since, um, I got an original Xbox with Halo 1 and 2 on it, and I, uh, fucking loved it, um, basically, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll see if 343 can, uh, hit it out the park this time, because both 4 and 5 had their positives, but had their massive negatives as well. So hopefully they've learned from both and made this look good. So let's go play. Cool. Am I dead already? I, I must be. I mean, this is a punishment, right? After we lost. We lost what? Yep, this is dead. What did we lose? Oh wait, I, I'm trying to remember Halo 5. No. No, 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 no. Halo 5 was what? This isn't happening. Oh, we were losing to Cortana because she went rampant and decided Hold on, Fuck everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Cortana decided fuck everyone, I've gone rampant. Um, after dying in Halo 4, which kind of ruined Halo 4's story, no, but that's that's fine. No, you, I can't stand this. I know you are. Please. No, you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. We're. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannon. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. The banished? You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. Are those the fuckers from Halo 5? They're still around? I'm going mm. to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we get away from here. Far away. Okay, so he's got a, so Chief's got a more human connection now that Cortana's not with him again. Got you, got you. Ooh, gameplay. Okay, first things first. Um, don't know what that thing in the RB is. The, the art style's very... Yeah, the art style's very reminiscent of Halo 3 and the older Halos. I like it. Rather than the grimy, gritty shit that they went with with four and five, they um, yeah, art style's good. Like it. Wish they had stuck with the original um, assault rifle look. The raised ammo thing, uh, ammo counter on the rifle, reminds me of Reach, and I hated Reach's weapon designs. But that's just a nitpick at this point. Oh. Oh, what's this? It's open world? I've literally not seen anything about Halo Infinite because I, I didn't want to... Frankly, I, you know, I was busy doing other things. Um, so I haven't seen anything. I was waiting for the first gameplay trailer. I saw the initial one where it's just Chief's helmet, but... Okay. Sound design sounds really good. Ooh, I love that pistol design. I really love the sound design. It actually sounds meaty. What's this? Is this the DMR? Oh my god, they got rid of the iron sights. Oh, that was the one thing I hate about Halo 5, is everything was iron sighted. Oh, it's just, it, it just doesn't fit. Shit, okay. Grenade. Right. So that's grenades down, okay. Is this the new DMR? Because I love the look of that. That looks way more... Oh, okay, so we got the new... New equipment. So equipment's back. I'm, I'm keen for that. Oh, there's a grappling hook. I don't know how much I'd use the grappling hook. What the hell was that? A 
Okay, so this is these. Okay, so far, I like it. I like what I've seen so far. Not sure about the grappling hook. Don't know why that would come in useful or how that would come in useful. Is it like a permanent thing or is it equipment that you can pick up like the shield? I'm not entirely sure about that. Music's beautiful. Like that's some traditional Halo sounding music right there. Whoever's playing this is a terrible shot. What the hell is this? A shotgun. Is this like a new brute shotgun? Because that's pretty cool. Oh, plaz- okay, what's that? This is a Ravager. Right. Pulse Carbine. Right, okay. Interesting. Nice, nice. A oh, Mauler, which is now called a Mangler. So it's an updated version of the Mauler. Okay. So updated traversal, because it's semi-open world. Is that meant to be... What? A fusion? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. got a combat shotgun right I'm glad we're back to fighting the Covenant as well because I fucking hated fighting the forerunner shit it was just so boring grab lift right yep Right. Do you ever see lost this war months ago? Who are you? Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead. Already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The harbinger and the banished share the same goal. Really? We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary. Long. I don't know who that is, but he gave a damn good speech. Oh, it's still coming out this year. I thought it had been pushed back. Oh, fuck. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's, let's just... Loved that. That was amazing. That seems like a true sequel to, uh, to Halo. Unlike Halo 4, because Halo 4 had the issues where the story was great, but the multiplayer was crap, because the new inclusion of the weapons was cool, um, but with the multiplayer, they kind of shit it, because they had custom loadouts and shit like that, which sort of, they tried to get the Call of Duty crowd in, which, yeah, and sort of shit on the old fan base, and then they went to Halo 5, where they tried to make it all esports, 
and it didn't really take off because, well, the esports is a very small sect of um, the game. So that didn't really work out either. But we haven't seen anything in the multiplayer. But I'm going to tell you that I love the art style. The music is fantastic. Um, it seems like a proper sequel to Halo 3. It actually, because to me, Halo 3 was the last great Halo game. Reach, I didn't, it, it was fun, but I didn't really enjoy it because they sort of, Bungie sort of shit on uh, the lore set up in the books and everything that I've actually, that I've read. So I, I wasn't really a huge, huge fan of Reach. Played it a lot, but wasn't a huge fan. Forge was the best thing about Reach. Um, so this seems like an actual, just from watching this trailer, this actually seems like a proper sequel to Halo 3. And I'm really, really uh, interested, I'm really intrigued now. Um, got me a little bit hype. Like I have not as much as when Halo Three was coming out, but it, it's given me a slight bit of hope after the last two titles. So I think Three Four Three have learned a lot so far from Four and Five, especially with the art style and everything. The music's fantastic. Uh, the sound design sounds amazing. All the weapons sound meaty. Um, they sound like they pack a punch. Not sure who that dude was. I think it's probably something that was introduced in Halo Wars Two. Um, I played Halo Wars 1, but never got into 2, because, I don't know, I just never did. Um, might need to, but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I'm interested. The, the only thing I'd have to say is, I don't, since I don't know who this person is, it's, as someone who plays, like, Halo, I haven't played Halo Wars 2, if, if you don't know who that is, I mean, then this is taken... It depends when in the story this is taken. If this is, like, at the beginning of the story, then, like, if this is, like, the first scene of the story, you're going to be lost. But if they have a bit of setup beforehand, I'd be interested. Maybe there's a... There's a flashback section that you can use to catch up, like a catch-up se section. You can catch up on the lore and the story up until this point. But I like it. And I'm interested to see where they go with... Um, how Cortana's disappeared again, and she's rampant. And I'm, I'm interested. Um, however, the fact that this brute dude um, said that he's teamed up with the Arbiter for Atriox. Now, I know that for a fact Atriox is in um, Halo Wars 2, because I, I read some tweets about it with Donkey's back when it released. I know that he's in it, so I'm guessing that the Banished are the main people from Halo Wars 2. Um... But the Arbiter, that's what got me. The Arbiter doesn't seem like he'd be in on it. Now, I might have misheard that, so I want to try and go back and see if... Uh, so let's go Let's go back to see if I can find it. Okay, so he didn't say Arbiter, he said the Harbinger. Okay, um, that's fine. So I wonder if the Arbiter is coming into this. But from what it seems is that... Humanity's fucked. Like, the whole of humanity's wiped out from these guys. Um, and... Master Chief's, like... Almost like an I Am Legend type thing. He's the last one... He's, like, one of the very last ones alive. If not the last... Uh, hope. The last one alive. And he, sort of... Is fighting this losing battle, really. Against these guys. I like that. That's that's very Halo esque, being the the one man who can push past everything. Um, I like the fact that he's got an actual human um, counterpart now, uh, rather than just talking to a Cortana. I think that's going to give a bit more humanity towards him because he's always been like over the years he was trained and all that. If you know the backstory of him, um, he's very to the point and direct, but the fact that he's talking to this bloke like a human, like, we'll do this together, and stuff like that, means that he's, um, he's opened up, he's, he's, you know, he's become, the Chief's becoming more human, which I really, really, really like to see, um, so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm intrigued, I like it, I like where, where they're going with this, um, the open world looking aspect as well, um, very interesting, very, very interesting. I don't know if it's all going to be open world or if it's going to be more Far Cry esque, where you have this open map that you can and you can like um, 
because and you can get there and then once you do that you go to a new little area which is a big open map as well i don't know if it's open world or open map but either way i'm very intrigued by that because that gives way more replayability you can do way different things um yeah no i i um, i think this is as i said before this is a true sequel to halo 3 by the looks of it right now it looks like 343's learnt and stuck to the Halo formula that Bungie set at the beginning. Like, they knocked it out of the park with Halo 1, 2, and 3. And this seems like it's going to be a proper sequel. None of, And then 4 and 5 is pretty much just sort of like a... Was like a side story type thing. This seems like a real true sequel. So, I'm really, really impressed from what I've seen. So, yeah, no, it's really cool. Uh, I really, really... And the one other thing I want to point out is that uh, the iron sights, it's gone back to the way it was. You're, you're not looking down the sights of the gun like you did in Halo 5. That that got me a lot. I didn't like that. I, I like just the the original aiming in, in Halo where it just zooms in the whole screen and everything. The fact that they've gone back to that is fantastic. Um, rather than that like smart scope that they used to ha they had on Halo 5 get rid of that I, I didn't like that that was no I'm interested in sprint if that's the, if that's in the grappling hooks interesting I don't know if that's equipped it looks like equipment's back in um, with the shield and everything not sure about sprint but it didn't really give too too much away but I really really as I said I really enjoy it so yeah I'm I'm excited I'm actually for the first time in a long long time basically 13 years um, I'm excited for a Halo title again. I am excited. The last time I was this, ex you know, was even close to this. Well, yeah, the last time I was excited for a Halo title was, was Halo 3. Um, I, yeah, um, 13 years, because that came out in 2007. 13 years it's taken them to get me excited for a Halo title again. So, yeah, um... I'm looking to pre-order this as soon as I can. Um, I know it's going to be on PC, but whether it's coming to Steam or not, I'm not entirely sure. But that's something to look out for. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm pumped. So yeah, that's uh that's my reaction to this this uh, this trailer for Halo Infinite. Love it. So um yeah, no, th um thank you all so much for joining me for this, and uh, I I hope you'll join me in the future for more actual videos um an update for actual videos coming out i have uh, an oculus quest now so we're going to be doing my you know i'm going to be doing a few more vr titles like um the horror stuff as well and you know stuff like that so i've just got to try and figure out a way to record it um properly um i'm still trying to figure that out but yeah look look forward to some uh, vr stuff happening as well which will be really cool so um yeah thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you in the next one toodaloo <laughs>